Today we are on lesson three. This is our very last problem solving strategy of the school year. We're going to work on drawing a diagram. You may have heard that word diagram. We've talked about that a few times as a text feature in a nonfiction text and using those diagrams to help clarify our understanding of what the text is saying. Um, but we haven't used that a lot in math. It's similar to draw a picture. We have done that strategy, um, and it can be really useful when we need to kind of visually see something. So we are going to think about our essential question still. How do I use shapes and equal parts? And for our quick check, we're going to trace these shapes. So let me do that real quickly. This is a hexagon, it has six sides, and we know if it has six sides, it has six angles. Here's a circle, zero sides, zero angles. Also looks like circles, right? <laughs> to show that it has zero sides and angles. Okay, and then we've got one, two, three, four, sides, four angles. One, two, three, sides, three angles. So which shape does not have four sides? Triangle, rectangle, trapezoid, and square. So a rectangle looks like this. That has four. Trapezoid looks like that. It has four. Square obviously has four, so it's got to be triangle. Remember tri means three, just like tricycle. So triangle is the correct answer. Okay, Lila drew a shape. The shape has six sides. It also has six angles. What shape did Lila draw? So for step one, it's the same in every strategy that we've learned this year. We're going to underline what we know and circle what we need to find. Um, and then we're going to plan how to solve the problem. So I'm gonna go to the second page and solve the problem, we're going to make a diagram. Okay, so then step three, I'm actually going to do the strategy. So underline what we know. Shape has six sides and six angles, and then circle what we wanna find out, what shape is it? So the uh, strategy we're gonna use is to draw a diagram, which in this case is just um, the the picture or of the shape that we're trying to figure out. We know it has six sides, six angles. So Lila drew a hexagon. Okay, is that a reasonable answer? I would say so. We know that um, hexagons are shapes that have six sides and six angles. We drew one and it made sense, so we are good to go. So now that we have learned the strategy, it's time for us to practice the strategy. So go ahead, open up your math book to 752, and we're going to practice our strategy um, using the steps that we just learned. So. Step number one is to understand, we're going to underline what we know and circle what we need to find. And then step two is to plan how we will solve the problem. So I'm gonna scooch forward to three because otherwise my first two steps will not um, show up, but we're going to underline what we know. Marcy drew a shape. It has five sides. It has five angles. What shape did she draw? Is what we're trying to find. So go ahead and do that on page 752 at the top. Underline what you know. Circle what we need to find out. Step two is that we're going to draw a diagram to help us to find our answer. Okay, so now we're on step three. We're ready to solve. We will draw and then we will say what Marcy drew. So I know my shape has to have five sides. Here's my five-sided shape, one, two, three, four, five. 
and it also has five angles. One, two, three, four, five. So Marcy drew a pentagon. A si five-sided figure is called a pentagon. Is that answer reasonable? I would say so, right? We have a five-sided, five-angled um, shape and any, sh any polygon that has five sides and angles that are connected and closed, can't be open, um, and has is made up of only straight lines is a pentagon. So to me, that seems like a reasonable answer for that problem. So now you are going to go on to page 200, or sorry, 753 and 754. You're going to apply the strategy we just worked on. You're going to do some brain builders and review some of our other strategies. Just a reminder, some of those are write a number sentence, draw a diagram, and use logical reasoning. Upload pictures to schoolwork when you are finished.